I'm going to show you the best coverage defense in Madden 24 in this video. We're going to be in the 4-6 playbook, and we're going to be taking a look at the nickel 3-3 cub, cover 4, show 2. Now, what we're going to do here is we're just going to set this in our audibles so that we can audible into this from the nickel 3-3. One of the main reasons why we do that is, A, you get safeties at linebacker, which is going to in encourage uh, better personnel. But another reason why you do this is because it allows you to get better adjustments for your defensive players. This is the whole purpose of coming out in the 46 playbook so that we can put safeties at linebacker and we can audible into the 3-3-4 or 3-3 cub cover four show two, which I believe right now is the best coverage defense in the game. And if you want to get my, my entire 3-3 cub defensive ebook, it's only 10 bucks. You can sign up for the Patreon in the description today. For just 10 bucks, you're going to get access to all of my Madden offensive and defensive ebooks. We've dropped over 15 offensive and defensive ebooks. We actually dropped a ton of updates uh, over the last week to those ebooks and Patreon members get everything for just $10. So if you want to be a member, you want to get better at Madden, uh, join the Patreon. All right, guys. So uh, how this defense is going to work is it's actually going to hinge on two key abilities for this entire defensive system. And the two, it's the same ability, but on two different players, Ed Reed and Richard Sherman, they both get deep in zone KO for two AP. And what this is going to do, this ability used to be terrible in Madden, but in this year's game, it's a lot better. And again, Ed Reed is going to be our free safety here. And then Richard Sherman is going to be our strong safety. Okay. So the bottom line here, what we're getting is we're getting these deep end zone knockouts at our safety position. And then really outside of that, you can get whatever ability you want. Right now I've got pick artists on prime time. You could put a, a, a like a medium route KO on the slot if you wanted to uh, as well. Now coaching adjustments, really important for this entire system. We're going to put our auto alignment onto base. We're going to put our ball and our defense on swap ball. The swats are really good this year. And then we're going to put our option defense on conservative. And here's the important part. We're going to put our curl flats on five, but we're also going to put our zone coverage onto match. Now, if you're on current gen, you don't have to put uh, zone coverage on match. It'll already be on match. Okay. And then we're going to audible into cover four show two. So to do that, I like to come out and cover four drop so that the audible into cover four show two is a little bit more seamless. So what you're going to see here is we're going to audible into cover four show two. And then what we're going to do is we're going to press, uh, or I'm sorry, we're going to pinch our defense. Now we know with nickel three, three cub that it has one of the best five man pressures in the entire game. All you got to do is blitz your linebackers and you're going to get some form of pressure. That pressure could come from the a gap. That pressure could come from the edge. The bottom line is if they send five receivers out on a route, they are going to get instantly pressured every single time. OK, and in our ebook, we explain why this blitz works and how you can actually make it even better than what we're showing you in this video. So because we have this base blitz that is really effective, the best way to pick up this blitz is to block a running back. So you'll see right here, I'm going to block a running back and you're going to see that it's going to pick up the blitz. Obviously, you're still going to get sheds, but it's going to pick up the A gap or the instantaneous pressure. OK, so what we want to do is when we start to see that they're blocking their running back, we want to go to a coverage defense that looks exactly like our pressure. So what I like to do with this is we're going to globally blitz our linebackers. So this is going to get our user in the blitz, uh, which I think is very important because you're going to get better sheds. And then all you're going to do is you are going to hard flat both of your linebackers and you're going to vertical hook your slot, your uh, nickel cornerback. And what you're going to see here is we're, it's a three-man rush. And it is really hard to move the ball against this right here. And I'll explain why. So you see these deep end zone knockouts at the safety position, and they're going to jump stuff like crazy because deep end zone KO doesn't just give you a better chance of knocking the ball out if they throw it at you, but it also gives you a better chance of actually, uh, or it gives you a, a more um, quicker break on ball. So let's say, for example, you run against verticals, and they're going to throw the verticals crosser. You'll see this play really does a good job of stopping verticals because the deep end zone KO, he gets a speed burst in breaking on the ball. It's super, super important. Now, another cool thing that I have here is I do have a universal coverage on these guys. You don't have to do that, but it does make it better. And again, if you wanted to, another little quick tip here is you could do, you, you could put your linebacker on the vertical hook as well. And the reason you might want to put your linebacker on the vertical hook is because a lot of people run verticals, right? A vertical hook on the bunch side, what it's going to do is it's going to do a really good job of taking that throw right there away, and they're not going to be able to throw that, okay? Now, this cross applies to literally every single formation in the game. You 
you pretty much only need this defense right now, in my opinion, um, and, and combining it with pressure. Now, another way you can combine this with pressure, because we know they're going to have to block somebody to pick up the blitz. Another easy way that I like to combine this with pressure is creating what I call a roll coverage. So we're going to go with a, uh, a hard flat over here on the solo side, and then we are going to utilize roll coverage techniques where we're going to basically take this left side defender, we're going to turn this into a cover six, and you could either put him on a deep half because, again, we want to utilize the zone KOs, or you could man him up if you're comfortable playing man-to-man. -man. But what this is going to do is if they if they run the running back quick throw, now you've got a hard flat over there, and there's really nowhere else they can throw within that short of a window. So I love this defense. It literally cross-applies to every formation right now in the game. I think it's super simple to run, and uh, it's very, very, very effective. And as you can see, they can't throw over the middle um, and, and really one of the most popular routes in the game right now are these post routes, these crossing routes, these corner routes. Uh, let me show you a corner route real quick. So another cool part about this is how this handles corner routes. So again, you can always feel free to take your nickel corner and you can do whatever you want. So you can put him in a vert or you could man him up, for example, on problem receivers as you want to. Okay. Uh, but what you're going to see here is this corner route to the outside you see this deep KO or um, this this deep quarter can oftentimes play those quarters. And if you have a good click on, you can click onto the player and you can potentially get yourself uh, in a pretty good spot. You can also run this off of base align. If you don't like base align, um, I will say sometimes it makes the blitz a little less effective. So you can run this off of base line. It's still going to work basically the same. Notice the other big underrated thing about this defense is that your safeties are in the box. The more you can bring these guys down, the better for the defense because they're not not—they're going to be fine against any kind of deep vertical, but they're also going to play stuff like crossers and corners much better the more down in the box that they are. Guys, this is the best defense in the game in my opinion right now, especially if you want to play something other than the press man-to-man -man, uh, stuff. This is so good, and you can mix it in with pressure, and it's very safe. It's very uh, safe defense. Uh, that is going to get you more stops. So I want to thank you for watching this video. And if you want to get my entire defensive ebook that shows you how to adjust to every formation that your opponent could throw at you, join the Patreon today for just $10. It'll get you access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks. Thanks for watching. Head down to the description and go check out the Patreon page.